The country remains in shock, still reeling from the news of the killing of more than 300 people in the Oromia region. Reports have put the blame on the Oromo Liberation Army. Outraged Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has announced a serious military action against the OLF. Zari. Today, those who cannot challenge the army and the police force are massacring innocent civilians. We must stop this. The agenda of the terrorists is to make Ethiopia a land where civilians do not live in peace. They are attempting to abort our developmental mission. The Hero National Defense Force Ministry is undertaking a military mission, taking strong measures against the enemy, aimed at sending the right lesson for them. Already, the Ethiopian Human Rights Commission and several other organs of government as well as various members of the international community have condemned the attack that has targeted civilians. The Prime Minister has vowed his country will continue fighting terrorism. We Ethiopians are saying evil beings that in broad daylight kill fathers, women and children. We have exerted a concerted effort to stop the cannibals from ever passing a threat against the nation. Our people must work with intelligence organizations. We will use our left hand to fight our enemies and we will use our right hand to continue our development. There is nothing to pause. We can proceed with our goals. The hundreds are killed are said to be from the Amhara community. Such attacks have been witnessed across Ethiopia for quite some time now. Observers are now calling on the government to institute robust measures to continually shield citizens from similar attacks. Grumtala Sijitian, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.